feel like I've had so many lows this year that Hey guys, I'm Dr. Shireen Idris, a board-certified dermatologist, and this woman caught my eye because she has a condition that is not readily recognized by the medical community, and awareness should be raised around it. It's called topical steroid withdrawal, also known as red skin syndrome. Now, the why and the how of this happens, we do not know, and much more research is still needed. But we believe that this happens with long-term steroid use, especially mid to high potency steroid use, because topical steroids, the creams that you get from your doctors, come in various, various different strengths. Over the counter is extremely low potency, and that's like hydrocortisone or cortisone 10, but once you go into prescription, it becomes much stronger, especially when you have a chronic condition like eczema, because most people with eczema are on steroids off and on throughout their life. Now, what we do know is that it tends to occur mostly in adult women and people who've used it on their face or in on their genital areas because those areas can definitely be affected by eczema. But more than that, we do not know. What are the common symptoms? Pain, itch, burning, flaking, wrinkling of your skin. With long-term chronicity of this condition, you can end up getting hair loss, fatigue, depression, and you'll end up on disability. And most of these people with chronic topical steroid withdrawal syndrome end up homebound. So the good news is there is some hope on the horizon. I am in nobody's pockets. I am paid by no one except myself and my patients. But Dupixent is a medication that has recently been approved, also known as Dupilumab. And this is one that can be very exciting for people with this condition. So if you know anybody who has topical steroid withdrawal, or if you yourself suffer from it, please find a local board certified dermatologist that you trust and ask them about Dupixent and to learn more about it. You can also go, by the way, on the um, eczema, National Eczema Association website. They have a lot of information there.